날 기다리고 있게 ओम शांति दीदी ओम शांति कैन यू हियर मी क्लियरली दीदी यस यस गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन आई एम ज्योति फ्रॉम साउथ कोरिया अ वेरी वेरी हार्टी वेलकम दीदी एंड थैंक्स फॉर ट्यूनिंग इन टुडे एवरीवन अम टुडेस टॉपिक इज फाइनल थॉट्स लीडिंग अस टू आवर डेस्टिनेशन If everyone has related questions or any others, please send me during the session. So, um, before we start our Q and A, Didi, would you speak some on today's topic first? Yes. Thank you. <coughs> In bhakti. as well as in gyan we believe that the last thought will lead to our destination if there is attachment to our own body or bodily relations or possessions naturally 
we will not be coming into golden age. So, <clears throat> I believe that last thoughts will lead to our destination in golden, silver, copper, or iron age. But <clears throat> the position will depend on how we fare in all four subjects, the marks we get, the service we do, Jnana Yoga Dharana we have, will also lead to our position and golden, silver, copper, iron age. So now itself Baba has been emphasizing to remember none but one Baba. So as much as we have that practice of soul consciousness and remembering only Baba, we will be getting to our final destination of position in that different ages. So we have to pay attention on these two things to keep mind busy remembering Baba be soul conscious and be Swadarshan Chakradhari. Om Shanti. Now, Jyoti, you can ask the questions. Thank you, Didi. So, the first question is um, there is a line in the Bhagavad Gita saying that at the time of death, the consciousness created by the living being carries him to his next life. So for example, if one has made his consciousness like that of a cat or a dog, he is sure to change it to a cat's or a dog's body. So we are curious about this passage from the scriptures and how it has been passed down in devotional paths and how the devotees interpret it and feel about it yes it is mentioned in the scriptures and we do believe that the same so our aim is to be bodiless and remember baba at the time of death thank you didi the following question is, um, you also answered um, initially, but is there only one correct answer as to what the final thought should be? If the answer is to think of only Baba, would anyone who remember Baba receive the same destination regardless of the purity of the soul? For example, we know the story of Azamil. So like Adamil did, some souls may have a lot of regret in the final moments, but they may be able to remember Baba at least. So would that person receive the same destination as another one who remembers Baba without experiencing, experiencing fear or sorrow? Everyone cannot reach the same destination. For status in the golden age will depend on marks in the four subjects. And those who are having fear or sorrow in the last moment will not get the same destination as those who are without fear. And it does depend on the purity of the soul, 
what destination they will get. Okay, so based on our perfection or purity, the result will be different. Thank you, Didi. The following question is, um, um, it is said that at the end, only Baba should be remembered. But can I send good wishes for those who are close to me at the same time to help them remember Baba or receive power from Baba? You can do whatever you like, but that will not help you if you are trying to help others. It may help them whom you are giving donation, but because you are remembering a human being at the end, that your destination will be maybe end of Silver Age or Copper Age. Thank you, Didi. Um, I have one question from your answer. Actually, today Baba mentioned about our pure attachment to daddies. Okay. Right? So this kind of pure attention is not allowed in the final moment, right? Of course not. Okay. Thank you, Didi. Um, the next question is, is it possible that a BK who has been with Baba for a long time and make a mistake or fail the test of the final moment? If that happens, would it be because that child was not paying attention to what he or she was supposed to be doing? Yes. Anyone can make mistake after a long time in Yarn because Maya is very powerful, subtle, and tricky. So, body consciousness also can fail the soul. So, we have to be very careful until we leave the body. Okay, thank you, Didi. Um, uh, there are two parts of the following question. Uh, the first one is, what kind of the tasks we may face at the last moment? This is the first question. And the second part is, and please give me examples and tell us what disciplines we should pay most attention to at this time to overcome each of our weaknesses. Last minute. Attachment to body, bodily relations, or material things can pull intellect. One example is Dadi Prakashmani was giving. As one Pakka PK was long time in Gyan from beginning, was hospitalized and when she was in hospital, Dadi was visiting and she expressed her desire to eat bell puri. And okay. she wanted it then and there in front of her locusts. And the locusts bought from the shop. She ate it because Lokiks thought if she leaves body, she may have unfulfilled desire. So the thing is, if there is a subtle desire, it may it may harass the soul at the end. And if there are karmic accounts, Evil spirits, fear, sorrow may be there. Uh, 
Okay, thank you, Didi. The next question is, um, Baba says, we must run and take a high jump as fast as we can to reach our destination. How do we know that we are moving forward and not falling behind the time? If we are moving forward to our destination with fast race running, but then we will be light, cheerful, and close to Karmati stage, Bab Saman stage, and otherwise, if we are not going fast, we will face sorrow, pull towards logic, a logic relation, and some or other subtle vice will be there. Yes, thank you, Didi. Our destiny destination is so high. <laughs> thank you. And the next question is, um, we were told that souls who serve together in the confluence age come into the same kingdom in the golden age. So does it mean that souls who belong to the same kingdom would leave their bodies with similar kinds of thoughts, feelings, or sanskars? Those souls who are working together may come in the same kingdom, but not necessary that they have similar thoughts at the last moments. Okay, thank you for clarification. Mm, the next question is, Baba says that the closer we get to our destination, the clearer we will see our own perfection and karmic accounts, etc. Didi, can you tell us what you feel and see about yourself these days? Yes. Near the end, soul will have feeling and clarity about future status and own perfection. I feel I have reached 95% of perfection. Thank you, Didi, and congratulations, <laughs> Didi. Okay, it's very good to hear your this answer. And the next one is, um, in last Sunday's Aviat Muli, Baba said, if your thoughts were wasteful and you lost your contentment, then there would be a slight difference in the degree of your purity in your final stage. You would not be able to become 16 celestial degrees full. So what kind of thoughts will we have when we reach the stage of perfection? What is the state of that stage like? We start are impurity. As we reach the stage of perfection, we will have pure thoughts, good wishes for others, and more tolerance power, and no subtle vices. Thank you, Didi. The next question is, if the soul is aware of its weaknesses and keeps trying to conquer them, will the vice will the vices be conquered at the final moment with Baba's additional help? Or will only the practice over a long period of time with experience of success lead us to success in the final moment? We cannot expect Baba to help in the last moment to conquer our vices. It needs our own efforts over a long period of time 
and that will lead us to success in the last moment. Thank you, Titi. So we have to be independent and we have to be mature, just Baba mentioned today. The following question is, um, it is said that we can overcome uh, negative emotions arising from body consciousness through the practice of soul consciousness over a long period of time. How can the body conscious emotions like fear, repentance, sympathy, sadness, etc., that we may experience at the end be discharged? What is the mechanism? Can you uh, elaborate, uh, elaborate on this? If one practices soul consciousness all the time, there is no question of fear, repentance, sadness possible in the final moments. So we are free from those negative emotions. Thank you, this is our foundation course is the final course again. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, the following question is, um, I've been with Baba barely for 10 years. I'm not sure how can I face the end. If my thoughts fluctuate in the one second test, will I fail? Because I, I have been this Gyan for short times. So don't just like this. Allow, don't allow doubts. Have determination that you will pass with honor. And your proper efforts will bring you success. Because Baba says last one can go fast and come first. So try to have that determination and you can be successful. Thank you, Didi. So we will keep our effort like that. Okay, the next question is, um, these days in Korea, the number of souls young and old with mental illnesses is increasing, causing severe social problems and settling karmic accounts. There are two questions related. First one is, are mental illnesses the result of a source misuse of thoughts and feelings? And the second question is, and what service can we do for souls who have this kind of severe mental illnesses? Mental result is the result of misuse of thoughts and feelings and giving mental torture to others. We can have good wishes for those people who have mental illness and service through mind, the silence power. Thank you, Didi. Um, the following question is, um, Baba once said that if we can show others their destination at the end, we can receive many blessings from them. How can we do that? What is the end time service really like? End time service is silence power. As much as we have accumulated all hours, we can share whichever power the soul needs at that time. Because some people may need love, some people may need peace, happiness, etc. So we have to provide that if we have accumulated them, we can provide them whichever power they need. Okay, thank you, Didi. So now it is time to accumulate for our final seba. Um, the next question is, 
it is um, it is said that at the final moment we have to become an embodiment of remembrance and conquer of attachment. What would it feel like? Final moment when we have conquered attachment and remember Baba, we will feel liberated and powerful to help others. Okay, thank you, Didi. So um, all these are the questions from Korean family. And now I ask questions from the uh, chat box. Yes. Um, the first one is, Didi, um, you've been seeing a lot of BK source leave their bodies over the years. Have you ever had any visions or feelings about their next destination? I don't think about it. Oh, you don't think about it? No. No. Because uh, many souls are living body and uh, some of them I'm not even contact with. And even those who are in my contact, I try not to think about their destination. So that also kind of um, waste thoughts, wasteful thoughts, okay. So the next one is, there is a person who does not know Baba and Gyan at all, and on his deathbed, what kind of thoughts I can send him so that he leaves the body with some meaningful finer thoughts? So person is not in Gyan. Yes. So how we can help that? Yes, so that he can maybe um, get from get powers from BKs. So he leaves the body with some meaningful five thoughts, finer thoughts. Usually, a Gyani source and their relatives tell them to remember God. Mm. Even when they are taking the corpse to cemetery or funeral parlor, they are chanting name of God. So we can just tell them to remember God because we don't know which God he has faith in because there are several deities if it is Christian, still we can call it Godfather to remember Godfather. So at, at least that we can do to remind them of God. Okay, thank you Didi for your clarification. Um, the next question is, um, in today's Mali, Papa, talked about the waste thoughts of Gyani source. And he also um, let us check two aspects, arrogance and feeling inserted. Uh, Didi, can you share, can you share your um, practical experience about this? Really speaking, I didn't have any ego. I have been insulted. And someone called me Dharamraj because I am quite lawful. So I didn't care for that let them think 
what they want to think. I am what I am. So I accept myself thoroughly. So I've got self-respect, but no ego. Thank you, Didi. Um, Didi, can you explain how the thoughts, consciousness, feelings, and emotions are different from each other? I will repeat again. Thoughts, consciousness, feelings, and emotions. How they are different from each other? Thoughts will create feeling. So thoughts are the root. And they will also create uh, emotions, feeling, and what was the third thing? Consciousness. Consciousness is different because feeling and emotions are created by thoughts. Whereas consciousness is knowledge. So those who have knowledge to be soul conscious, they are soul conscious. Whereas other people in Kalyu mostly are body conscious. They have all sorts of thoughts, negative ways, thought, impure thoughts, etc. Thank you, Didi. Um, it's more clearer. Um, the next question is, in earlier times, guideline for donations was clearer. Now it seems we are allowed to donate to any other good causes. Can Didi help to clarify the method to determine a good cause which we can or should help if we come across them or are asked for it? Usually, if somebody comes from other organization to ask me, even when I was in Sydney, I'll say our organization is charitable. We are receiving charity from our students. We can't give it to other causes. So, I think it's better not to give to other organization. Hmm. Thank you, Didi. Our next question is, Om Shanti Didi, the effort is to have yoga with the one father and the results is to be an embodiment of yoga. How do we understand that we have moved from the first phase of having yoga to the second phase of becoming an embodiment of yoga. If we have become embodiment, there will be real purity in thoughts, words, and actions because our two orders that Baba has given is be yogi, be holy. So we had to be completely pure and follow Brahma Baba's footsteps. Thank you, Didi. The final question is, drama has been such that I've only Baba and lost faith in Brahmin family. Center and limits, center instruments. So is this BK journey and final destination still possible? Sorry, will you repeat? Yes. 
um, this soul is asking that the drama, his or her drama has been such that I, I've only Baba and I lost faith in Brahmin family center and limits. I don't have faith anymore. So is this BK journey and final destination still possible in this, in this circumstances? No, no, because you need to have family to be part of rosary. Each family member should be close. So we have to be not only close to Baba, but each and every soul. And if this soul has lost faith in family centers, teachers, etc. How she will study. She won't study. And without yarn and yoga, nobody can be perfect. Thank you, Didi, for your clarification. The next question is, Om Shanti Didi, if other people's words and deeds hurt me deeply, I clearly have a lot of work to do. Please share what I can do to build immunity to pain and sorrow and be ready for finer moments. You have to be soul conscious. It is body consciousness that is taking sorrow from others. And Baba says, neither give sorrow to others, nor take sorrow from others. So the thing is, you have to be more soul conscious and self-respect. Okay, thank you, Didi. Um, Om Shanti Didi, Mama says to come into conflict of karma is ignorance. One thing is to understand what karma is for us and how it is connected to us in the sense of a debt collector. However, how do we handle this debt collectors without invoking our vices of anger, greed, fear, doubt, etc.? Naturally, whatever we are going through present time is the result of past karma. And past karma will lead to different types of pain and sorrow. So what we have to do is yoga and not take sorrow from others thoughts words actions etc we had to go beyond everything and be in baba's remembrance then we can be detached observer of the drama and karma thank you didi for your explanation is yes. it clear? Yes, it's clear. Okay. And the next question is, how to imbibe maturity practically in our life and how to accumulate marks through maturity? In order to be mature, we have to really imbibe jnana and yoga and not speak out whatever we have done, not have ego of whatever we have done. As Baba was telling this morning, 
that those who are able to maintain silence and speak only things that is necessary because one has to decide what we should say what we should not say so that power of discrimination and judgment is needed to be mature okay. thank you didi so uh, discrimination is very important and adjustment is also needed for this so the next question is how can i forgive my teacher baba's right hand if they did wrong actions towards me how can i build my trust once again towards that soul you have to think that baba has selected the instrument and respect that so the teacher because it's not that anybody will be given the position in brahman center they are given position because they are having some speciality so try to see the speciality forget the past then you will be able to forgive the person who has done wrong to you then you will forget the past and maintain respect for the teacher thank you didi the next question is didi um if there is a bk um who already long time in gyan and did a lot of service in the past then she has anger and jealousy to her junior but she is very faithful and confident that she has a good yoga will her faith and confident give her success at the final time what is the last thing so there is one sister she is ego and jealousy yeah 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 Junior. yeah yeah so, but but herself she herself is very faithful and confident she has a good yoga i have a good yoga and i will pass all confident so um the person who is asking this question is wondering um will she um have success at the final time if she has like uh, if she has dharana like this this is the question it depends on how she moves on and removes her jealousy or uh, whatever negative feelings she has for anyone so efforts are still needed and more yoga needed so realization has to be there that she has to have yoga to remove her vices okay so we all have still some spaces for our finer efforts thank you didi the next question is om shanti brahma baba had three pools at the finer moment from his body and from ship baba and from the pure attachment from uh, to the children so can you explain how he was able to remain in one pool of ship baba three pools yes three pools one maybe from one from ship baba and 
one from is from his um uh, body conscious body from body or bodily pain and the last one is from children attachment the pulling from children so how he was able to remain in one pool of Shiv Baba? As far as I know, he didn't get pulled by body consciousness, nor from his children. He was detached from his logic family. And when his children left Yagya, he just gave them goodbye with minimum help. Because when Dada Narayan left, he gave only ticket from Abu to Andabad. And uh, but so he he was never pulled by his low kicks, even when Mama gave to Gyan. He gave position of world mother or Jagadamba to Mama and not his daughter or his wife or his family member, daughter in law, because Nirmal Shanta Dadi, Prijendra Dadi were quite good in Gyan and Yoga. But he gave position to Mama. Thank you, Didi, for your clarification. Okay, the next one is Om Shanti Didi. Can we permanently cure a family member by immersing them in the subtle region and sending them Sakash through Babdada? Uh, I don't think we can really completely cure anyone because they have their karmic account. So they have to go through whatever sickness they are going through. Our yoga can uh, help them a little bit but not completely cure. Okay, thank you, Didi. The next one is Om Shanti. Often we are asked to give yoga donation for a Brahmin soul who is unwell or who has just left the body. We are told to give good wishes and pure feelings. Could Didi please explain the specific thoughts to create to give maximum benefit to the source and the self? Oh, we can give, why not, yoga donation. But mainly what will help that soul with its own karma, whatever charitable karma they have done, they will get the result of their karmic account. Our good wishes, sakas, yoga power can help them a little bit. Thank you, Didi. The next question is Om Shanti Didi. What is the best cure for hypertension? Will Western medicine help permanently? I think so, because blood pressure high is something we cannot cure by our yoga power or silence power. We have to take medicine. Okay, so we can get benefits from the medicine. The next one is DDG. I am observing myself as a detached observer. I want to be more solitude and enjoy inner happiness. But while I am doing physical work, I couldn't enjoy the inner joy. 
So how can I maintain this stage while performing action? To be karma yogi, one has to pay a lot of attention. But at least what you have to do is start your job by remembering mama. And in between, again, you have traffic control every hour. And make sure that your Amrit Vela is powerful, your evening yoga is powerful, and find time in the evening for half an hour. So, karma yoga is not possible for everyone. Mm. So, don't feel guilty. Mm. Because by feeling guilty, you are wasting your time. Thank you, Didi, for clarification. The next question is, how to prevent evil spirits from attaching to us during these end times? How do we get rid, rid of? Yes, how do we get rid of um, attaching? Yes, yes. Main thing, the bodiless souls evil spirit usually attack the soul who has karma with that soul. And what we have to do when that soul attacks you, you sit in Baba's remembrance and tell my Baba is powerful. And you go away from here. And I have heard many examples where they have been able to chase away that evil spirit. Thank you, don't Didi. talk about it. <laughs> don't, don't talk about it. Don't think about it. Because by thinking, you are invoking that soul. So, remain away from such thoughts. Keep your mind busy, spinning the cycle or churning moonly points. Thank you, Didi. For the methods, I think that those methods will be very helpful. The next question is, who does Baba refer to as Mares, horse, and sheep in the movie? My? Who does Baba refer to as horse and sheep in the movie? Host? Horse. H-O-R-S-E. H-O-S-T. H-O-R-S-E. Horse. <laughs> and? Sheep. S-H-E-E-P. <laughs> sheep. So who does Baba refer to as horse and sheep in the morley? Sheep are those who don't understand Gyan. <laughs> Because Baba says, uh, usually, if you play nice music to ship, they wouldn't appreciate it. So if we are playing nice yani talks, they wouldn't be able to enjoy it. And horse is one who is racing fast because usually horses are very strong, vegetarian, and 
they can run very fast in the race. Thank you, Didi. The next question is, Didi, you look well. Please share the secret of your longevity and wellness. <laughs> longevity is right from childhood. My parents, especially father, was very keen that we eat uh, healthy food. He wouldn't allow to throw rice water when rice is cooked, or he will not peel off the fruits. He will say below the pill there is some bad vitamins, etc. So, and to children, he would never allow to have tea or coffee, only milk. And being a doctor, I have been able to look after my health. And nowadays, because of my low immunity, I don't see many people. I don't be in the crowd because in the crowd, anybody can have infection and I don't want to catch infection. So I take care of my health, and that's why I have lived long life. My mother also was 83 when she left body. My older sister also was around 80s when she left body. Only my younger sisters left body soon. But my youngest sister, who is 80, is also very independent. Thank you, Didi. We are sure that you will accompany us until the final moment. Thank you, Didi. Uh, the next question is, Morris have been speaking about pure love and pure attraction between corporeal souls. What exactly is pure love and pure attraction? Pure attachment or attraction? Pure attraction. Attraction. Yes. 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 Pure love is spiritual love, brotherly love. And for that, we try to help other people, give cooperation, and accept them as they are. Because there are souls who are, who are having some weaknesses, etc. But we still love them. And pure attraction, I wouldn't say that can be pure attraction. Attraction is always subtle wise. Thank you, Didi. Didi, we have two more questions. So can you, can I please proceed on or? Okay, I don't mind. Okay, okay thank you, Didi. The next question is, um, if the final moments come closer, um, will you be sure that that moment is coming? Because you are powerful yogi, so will you, um, see very clearly this? Yeah. Those who are having pure and clean intellect will realize that this is the final moment. 
Okay, thank you. Didi. Because what happened when Vedanti man was leaving for Africa? She asked Baba, Baba, will we be in Africa during last moment? And Baba said, no, if you have clear intellect, you will catch last flight coming to India. Okay, so we have to um, ourselves prepared well for our final moments. The final question is, if a senior instrument makes a decision which is against Muli teachings, then if a person acts as per such decision, would it also be against Srimad? What will be against Srimad? I will repeat again, Didi. If a senior instrument makes a decision which is against Molly's teaching, then if a person acts as per such decision, would it also be against Srimad? Of course, if it is not a According to Srimat, it is against Srimat. Okay, thank you, Didi, for your clarification. So, uh, those are all the questions from the chat box. So, so we thank can you. have one minute silence and say goodbye to everybody. Thank you, Didi, once again. Om Shanti and goodbye. See you next Sunday.